Welcome back, YouTubers. This is uh, Darby again. Today we're playing with Krita. Let's see if I can get my mouse back on my screen. Where to go? All right, here's my mouse. Okay. So let's take a look at some things now. Um, for this class, we scanned our own drawings, so it's going to be slightly different. Um, this one was converted from Photoshop, hence the PSD file right up here. Um, but basically, the only big difference is I had uh, the pencils switched over. And so um, today we're not going to worry about converting the line work. Um, I just want to go over a few things. So first thing you do get is, and I'm sure I'll go over this in class, I want you to experiment. I want you to go, uh, I believe it's uh, that button. Yeah, it's this button right here. And then I want to make sure... Yeah, you right click on that and show scratch pad. So you have your scratch pad and I want you just to to play around with the brushes and kind of see how they work. What you want to do. Um, uh, and so you can learn about how you want to do this. So the ba basically that's basically what I want you to do. Um, when you get time to doing this, ooh, look at that, lots of fun. Command Z will drop that out. Just like Photoshop, Command Z, except with Photoshop you have to hit three buttons to keep going back. Command Z will just help you keep going back in space. First thing to go over here uh, as a refresher, because I'm sure you watch my other videos, I'm going to throw a new layer out here, and I'm going to bring this layer I'm going to have it highlighted just by clicking on it so it's highlighted. I'll push it up to the top so it's on top of everything. I'll double click that. And I'm going to put a, uh, I'm going to put hat color. Oh, that's supposed to be color. Oops. Oh, well. And so I'm going to hit uh, the plus key to zoom in. And then I'm going to hold down the space bar left click and drag down so I can bring that hat and then let go and I'm gonna go over uh, let's see here this kinda looks good it's been a little bit I can't remember my favorite brush so I'll go over here I'll X that out That might work. Uh, mm -hmm. right, we're going to use that one. Obviously, we're going to change the color. I'm going to pick like this brownish color there. All right, excellent. Control Z to go back. Okay, so a couple things. Um, and color right on top of this, you're not going to be able to see much. I mean, you can see a faint line through there. So I'm going to go up here and change the layer, the blending layer, to multiply. And so you're going to see right through there. If I changed it, let's go in here in time, get rid of that. Um, changed it to color, I'd only actually color that line that I have out there. Okay, so you guys basically what I want you to do is change this to multiply. Got it, fabulous. And we're just going to color away. Now obviously, you know, I'm going to plus it a little bit and zoom in, hold down the space bar and move that over there. But any Yahoo can do that. And this might be the flat color that you want, might be the kind of idea that you want, but I also want to change this up a little bit. We'll go a little lighter here. Okay. Uh, let's see if I can get a I'll experiment with these brushes here. There's lots of fun stuff. Um, 
And so now I'm, make, I'm mixing some value here. Mixing some stuff up. So that's what I'm talking about. Any, any Yahoo can just, you know, why do you have a computer program if you're just going to color it like you would color a coloring book? So to you guys who try things a little bit differently. Um, so that's one thing there. Uh, let's uh, minus to go back. Also, just like in Photoshop, you can press the bracket keys to make this things larger. And, um, and I, I definitely suggest you play with the brushes because you'll see some some brushes are just amazing. Um, I mean, I have two different colors there, and then we can go grab the palette knife and blur them together. Um, have some pencils. Take a look at that pencil. I have lots of really, really interesting things here. You just have to kind of go and experiment and figure out. Well, this is the oil pastel one, I believe. I love choosing the oil pastel here. And I love blending it. Let's see, where's my blender at? And you can always hit like a your right finger there. I mean your right trigger. You should be able to change these and then go in here and smudge. Yeah. yeah that's not what I wanted. And Z. Um, I'll find it. It's been a little bit, but I'll find it. Really soften that. And you can also change the opacity. And you can click over and change the uh, the flow. And we'll talk about all that stuff later. But just mess around with these things. It's great. It's great stuff to mess around with. Unlike Photoshop, there is no like, um, like eraser. Like every there is an eraser, but you actually have to click on it, and it's going to use the the shape of the brush. Like up here, if I click on that. And then I click on this right here. I have that clicked. Make this larger here. It's going to erase with a sponge look. Which could be cool for effect. Especially if I'm just trying to pull a little bit of color off. If you're trying to erase everything, it's going to be a pain in the butt. Okay, so now I'm talking about that a little bit. Um, bum -ba -dum -bum -bum. Uh, yeah, this is my weird surrealist drawing from many years ago. Um, let's zoom out a bit. Not that far. Move this over here. Okay, so what else do I want to talk about? Um, Big, big thing. It would be great if, let's say, we zoom into this. Um, we'll do this hat band here. And let's find something I want to actually use. No. It's kind of cool. It's got a nice watercolor feel to it. All right, let's say we want to do this. And there's thousands of ways to do this. And this is how I'm doing it. I know this is not the best, but whatever. And then um, later on, you want to change something. Let's say you get another layer here, and then you have, uh, we got like this black. Oh, it's not black. I just purpley color. Right. 
very interesting look, very watercolor-ish. Um, let's say we click on this again and then uh, some image. Let's say it just color balance looks like it'd be it. And let's move this off side here. If I wanted to adjust a single layer, I could do that. And it's not messing with the purple at all. Okay. I hit cancel. But if I'm on layer four here, I didn't name it, and then I will zoom out a bit. Not that far. Yeah, I'm crazy. And then we make this guy a blue little dude here. I'm like, oh, I should change that. I don't want it to be blue, and it's all finished. So then we'll go back up to tool, where did we go here, select, other, oh, what's it on there, darn it, artistic, there we go, silly me, adjust, do, um, my color balance, and we said let's have, um, more of a yellow, uh, less of a blue. It should be changing. As if you look up here, change that color quite a bit. Now it's green. And so if you want to change one section, you need to actually work one layer at a time. So we'll Command Z a couple of times, bring that back into time. All right, so now one last thing I want to mess with. I do not like this brush at all. Um, Let's go with you. Oh yeah, two more things actually. So let's say we had a layer, we type in line because some of your works uh, that we've scanned might not look correctly. And I'll pick black, maybe is this black, this is kind of black. And I can zoom in, I can change this line here, the size here, and then I can just draw this because some of your work might not have all the lines together and you might have to fill it in or you might want all your work outlined and maybe you want a thick outline and so you could pick a bigger line here thickness then you can do that as well and it might look less than straight right here but we zoom into a regular size and you can't tell the difference I mean, you really can't. So, anywho, um, we'll take the color here. And remember, each layer here is like a, a sheet of plastic paper. Or not plastic paper, but you know, plastic, like an overhead lay. So if you, you can click the eye and you can move things. I mean, not move things, but have something show up and some things not show up. Uh, real quick, uh, I'm going to grab some color. Make this thing larger. All right, 
obviously I'm just scribbling away here. Alright, so let's throw another layer out here. Yeah, we'll move this layer. I believe it's to the top, I believe. Uh, we'll do pattern. This is what you do at the very end. And then I'm going to hit um, multiply, I believe. And then I'm going to go to click here, find patterns. Um, sometimes they have a description right there. Um, Chainmail, scales. Some of the stuff would be cool on different art projects or for a certain area. You don't have to use the whole sheet like I'm about to. Um, I'm go up here. This paper looks interesting. And then I'm going to hit uh, edit and fill with pattern. And all that's going to go there. So then I'll go over here and hit multiply. And then I'll change the multi. Um, I'll change the opacity. And so I can make that opacity really weak or really high. And depending on how I change it is depending on the look. So let's say we didn't like that pattern. Delete that pattern there. Say we wanted that pattern. Go to edit, fill pattern. And now let me zoom in. Looks more like on a canvas. So there's lots of interesting things you can do. Um, I'm not sure how long this video is, but I'm going to stop now. Um, and let me know if you have questions. We can go through this together. I have other videos, and there's lots of other videos out there. Uh, please uh, leave me comments, subscribe, like, um, let me know you're out there. Um, and thanks for those of you that have been watching. We're over 5,000 views and almost at 100 subscribers, so that's pretty cool. Uh, thanks again.